Hello, welcome to the video number 8 of the series Exploring ROS with a two wheeled robot. My name is Marco Arruda, and in this video, we are going to implement, I'm going to show you how you can work with the algorithm to implement the bug zero behavior for a mobile robot, the same robot we have been working with in the previous videos. Okay, so I'm starting here showing a demonstration how the robot behaves and after having it work, I mean, after having the demonstration done, because the robot started from here and it must reach this point here, more or less right here at the scene. I'm going to explain line by line what we are doing here to make it work. Okay. So let's keep the robot working there and we can start showing the code. So let's put it more to the left side and let's start taking a look right here. So I have created basically just a new file, which is called bug zero inside the scripts folder at the same repository we have been working with. Okay. Uh, and in order to make the bug zero, I'm using uh, two behaviors we have been, we have implemented before in other videos of the series, which are go to point and also the wall follower. Okay, so basically here in bug zero, I am switching between go to point and all follower. As you could see, uh, the robot started from here and going in a straight line to the to the desired position. After detecting an obstacle, we change it to the wall following algorithm, and then after the robot the robot could see that there was a straight line again and no obstacles. Uh, between its position and the goal, so it start it switch it switch it again to go to point, and then it detected uh, one more time an obstacle, so it changed again to the wall following algorithm, and finally go to point again and reach the point. Okay, so we can check here. So go to point, wall following, go to point, wall following and go to point to reach the desired position. So now let's check the code. Uh, what are we doing here? So basically, right here at the beginning, as usual, we are just importing some ROS libraries, Python, ROS, math library, and a new thing here we haven't used in the previous videos, services. So we are importing standard services messages if you don't know how to use a service, uh, please follow the link in the description of this video and go to the Robot Ignite Academy. You can check their ROS basics, ROS in five days. This is a very good course, very good explanation about the basics of ROS. Okay, and you can get back and follow this kind of, of tutorials. Okay. So let's start checking the main function. Uh, we have some global variables here. I'm not going to explain one by one because I'm going to explain as we can see them inside our code. Okay. So in the main function, I'm initializing the node. So just bug zero, the name of my node. I am subscribing to the laser scanner because I want to detect obstacles around the robot to change it between the states, go to point or wall follower. Also, I am subscribing to the odometry messages because I want to know the current position of the robot. And also I am using two services here. So go to point switch and wall follower switch. So my node is a service client. Okay. This is very important. That's why I have said about check the course. If you don't know exactly how a service works, because you can get complex, very complex. If you don't have, don't know how, it works, but after having this knowledge, you can understand exactly what we are doing here. Okay. So basically we have two, uh, we are client of two services and I am using this function here, change state, which is basically, uh, my book zero is a state machine and we have two states. Okay. Go to point state number zero and while following state number one. So we are starting using go to point because we are assuming we have no obstacles around the robot. But 
inside our loop, we have here if we are in state number zero and if we detect an obstacle in front of the robot. So I am using here an obstacle less than one meter and more than uh, 0 0.15 meters because sometimes the laser can detect some some variations, some strange values, but it's normal for this kind of sensor, okay? So if you detect some obstacle in front of the robot, I'm changing the state to the wall following state number one, okay? And if we are executing wall following algorithm, we are checking the yaw, the heading of the robot, and depending on the on the error of the heading. So let's check here if we have, for example, the heading is a positive value and if it's a, a small value, so here I'm using uh, 45 degrees and if there's no obstacles in front of the robot for the next 1.5 meters, I am changing to, to the state go to point, okay? Uh, and also, if there's no obstacles, if we wish the robot should turn to the left side, okay, which means uh, we have a positive value, which means the robot should turn to the left side. And if there's no obstacle in the left region of the laser, we just turn again, change the state, and the same for the right side. So if we have a negative value, it means that the, the goal is on our right side and if we have no obstacles on the right side of the robot we change the state again okay and finally the rate slip because this is just a, a formal uh, just a, a way of handling loops using ROS and working at 20 Hertz okay so we have created here a new function normalize angle just to normalize the angle because we don't want to to turn to the left or to the right side using the longest way, okay? This is normal in robotics, so I'm not gonna explain how this math works. Uh, so we have the change state function, which is basically, we are changing the value of this variable here, state, just to have it uh, managed inside our algorithm. We have also a log message, just to see the logs here in the terminal and after changing the state we are calling the services that's the key point of this algorithm that's why it's very important you know how services work okay so again if you don't know exactly if you have some doubts please just go to the tutorials go to the courses Robin AI Academy and you can check how the services work okay so basically to change to, to the state number zero we have to turn on go to point because state number zero is go to point. So we are calling the service and setting it to true and we are turning it off the wall follower. And doing the opposite, if we are changing to state number one, we are turni turning off go to point of rhythm and turn it on wall follower, okay? So using false and true because we are using uh, standard service messages, we are importing all the messages and we have defined it here, set bool message, okay? So that's the kind of message we are sending, set bool, true or false. And inside the callbacks, we are just doing the same we have been doing the, in the other algorithms. For example, follow wall, we are subscribing to the laser and we are doing the same. We are just defining the regions dictionary here to have the values from the right side of the robot to the left side. Okay, and the odometry just getting the position of the robot. So we have to modify some stuff here on the other algorithms. <clears throat> First of all, they have to be a service server. It's different of being a service client. So a service server, we have to define the service here, the kind of message, which is of course the same kind of, we have defined it here because they are talking about the same service when we are defining a callback function for the service request. Okay. So for every request, we are changing the, this value here active. This is a global variable and we are just responding 
uh, it was success and the message done but it doesn't matter so the most important here is that we are changing the value of this variable active and inside our main function I have defined it here that if the variable active is equals to false we just continue the loop so we are not executing we are not sending messages to the robot because this node here is not activated okay and the same for the wall following we have defined it here the active variable and it's being changed inside the wall follower switch which is the callback method of the service wall follower switch because this is also a service server and it's using set bool message okay and again inside the loop if the node is not activated we are just continuing we just continue executing the loop and we are not executing and sending the messages to the robot okay so basically that's it let's try one more time let's send another value to the robot here let me open the terminal so we have here behavior it's working already but I want to change the the goal the third position so let's put the the point we have started let's put here y equals to h and let's start bug algorithm again and now the robot may reach this point more or less at this point here okay so first of all the robot of course it's going to to find an obstacle it should avoid the obstacle following the wall and then going in a straight line to the point it's gonna find a wall again and avoid the obstacle and finally reach the point the starting point of the robot okay so basically that's it I'm gonna provide the video and for in order to execute this this kind of video we are all always using RDS Rust Development Studio provided by the construct if you don't have an account yet you can create one following the following the link at the description of the video and you can create a new account for free and use the system for free okay so don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of video we are publishing videos about Rust and tutorials every day Thank you, see you on next video.